Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Roblox tutorial, and if you're new to this channel, welcome to the video. So, today is going to be the start of the Roblox basic series here on this channel. So, what does this series cover? Well, it covers everything that I know in which I'm going to teach to you guys. Everything from the ground, uh, from the ground up, all the way to the pro level. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to teach you guys today is how to download Roblox Studio and how to, uh, and, and the basic uh, overview of the tools that you can use to use Roblox. So anyways, um, as you can see here, I have the Roblox icon. Now, if you don't have Roblox installed, all you have to do is go to the develop page if you're logged in Roblox. If you're not, create an account on the just go to roblox.com and create an account. Um, then log, log in. Go to the develop page, scroll down, and all you have to do is click on download Roblox Studio, download it, and then install it. And that's all you have to do. Very simple process. Just run the application and boom, you're done. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and open up Roblox Studio if you have it done. If not, pause the video, download it. So once you get into Studio, you'll see all these different options with the all templates. So you get a base plate, you have a village, you got a castle, you got a suburban area, you got yourself combat kind of like uh, Call of Duty, you got your capture the flag like Quake, Infinite Runner, like uh, Temple Run. But we're not we're not going to start out with those. For this tutorial, let's just go ahead and go to our base plate. So uh, once you click on the base plate option, uh, it'll go ahead and load up the base plate. This is what it should look like. You'll have your command bar here. You'll have your explorer and properties. So I want to go ahead and cover how you move these because you might want to customize it. You might want to be able to change your layout here. So it's actually fairly simple to do. All you have to do is go on ahead and uh, kind of select the bar up here that says the uh, the window name and all you have to do is just drag the window to where you want it to be you could have it on the left i could have the explorer on the left properties on the bottom i could have explorer on top of the properties which would be weird but i could have it like this or i could have it uh back over here and i could have uh the properties underneath there are so many different options when it comes to selecting where you want this is personally my uh my setup uh, uh, the setup I use. So, uh, I'm just going to expand this a little bit. more. There we go. So this is my personal setup. Um, so you guys might be wondering, well, how do I get the output there? And that's actually quite simple. You can actually enable and disable the explore and property windows by going to this category. So if you look up here, we have different tabs here. We have home model terrain test view and plugins. So we're not going to worry about any of these. Let's just go ahead and well, any of these except the view tab. So let's go ahead and go to the view tab. And as you can see here, we have a lot of options here that we can enable and disable. We have the Explorer, we have the Properties, Game Explorer, Toolbox, uh, Context Help. We have a lot of options here. But what we're really looking at right now is two things. We're looking at the output and we're looking at the Toolbox. The Toolbox is also what we call Free Models. Free Models allow you to kind of get a hang of certain things by looking at the programming. And uh, along with that, you can also learn from these Free Models or use these in your game. So... Uh, just to easily enable these, all you have to do is click on output and that'll go ahead and create something as large as this or even smaller. I personally like to put it down here and make it quite small in height. And the toolbox is fairly simple. As you see, I kind of already have it, but I'll drag it here for now. So this is where you keep the toolbox. Now, personally, I don't like having the toolbox here because I don't use the toolbox. So... Um, if you want to have the toolbox there, then you can, but for the rest of the tutorial, I will not have the toolbox here for the moment. So anyways, uh, so that's how you go ahead and that's how you're going to, uh, turn on and disable certain windows for studio. So let's go back and head back to the home tab and let's go ahead and cover the four tools we have here, the four tools that you will use. So the four main tools, and by the way, you can go ahead and open up the toolbox just by pressing that. So the four main tools you have here, which you'll use if you want to build, is your select option, your move option, your scale option, and rotate option. Now rotate is obvious. It's like rotating in real life cube. Scale is like uh, making something larger. Moving is literally moving an object. And selecting is selecting an object in which you can drag to move an object. Now let's, let's go ahead and talk about... Um, 
talk about another uh, kind of another tool you use, which is this right here, the part uh, a tool. So basically, all you have to do is click on part, and it'll create a part right here for you. Now, if you guys uh, if you guys are watching this and you already know about this, uh, you might have known. And if you haven't, if you used Studio before, you already have known that there used to be studs in the surface properties. Um, and now they're making it smooth. Uh, they make it smooth when you put it in. So that's a big improvement for you guys if you're new and just uh, doing uh, getting into Studio. Um, and along with that, uh, you can now so if you so the select option allows you to select uh, an object, but every other uh, every other tool allows you to do that. But um, what the select uh, personally does is it allows you to select the uh, to, uh, part and allows you to easily move it around. And um, same with the move at, as well, but sometimes these get in the way. So selecting is just for just moving this around. And move is to move it in any direction you want. So the blue is uh, the blue is the Z axis, the red is the X axis, and the green is the Y axis. Let's get that back in the center here. Uh, and as you can see, it's back here in the center. And uh, you can in the scale allows you to easily resize it to anything you'd like it to, to be. So we can make it about that big. So now it's that big, and that's how what the scale uh, tool does. And you could use the rotate tool to rotate your uh, cube around, and you could use that. Now we have this right here, right? Well, what good does it do if you can only use these tools? So another uh, another thing that we're going to cover right now is the explore uh, the explore window and the properties window. So. Explore allows you to see different services and instances, which is also uh, objects. It allows you to see everything that exists in the game. That is what the Explorer does. It's kind of like the file manager, but for Roblox. Now, let's go ahead and select part. The properties shows you different, uh, different things you can change. And these different things that you can change happen in real time. Uh, so when you edit a property, it uh, it changes here. So if we go to color, we could just select this and change the color to everything we want. And as you can see, it changes in real time. Even when we go over here and change it, it changes in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back to that regular color. So yeah, that's what the properties uh, that's what the properties window does. It allows you to change certain properties um, that affects the actual object. So that's primarily what I wanted to teach you guys today, uh, just to get you started, just to get you the hang of what the Explorer uh, does and what the Properties does. And we'll, we'll go more in depth later on in another video, but for now, that's all I have. You can go ahead and mess with this how, however you want, change the rotation, maybe lift this part up in the air a bit more, and uh, kind of mess with it. Maybe you can make it smaller, who knows. So anyways, uh, that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, then go ahead and leave a like and comment down below what you think I should do next in the future basic series videos. And don't forget to subscribe if this helped you and if you want to see more of this series. Anyway, uh, I guess that'll be it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.